all, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruel cool YouTuber that is trying to have a long no buy. And today I am here with a little shadow video, it might be, I, I never know if I'm going to be honest with myself if it's going to be shadow or not. But today I am talking about favorite brands and I am going to talk about my favorite shimmer formula, my favorite matte formula, my favorite blush brush and highlight blush bronzer and highlighter, but I am not going to talk about specific shades. I am not going to talk about specific palettes. I'm going to talk about the brands that I have a favorite when it comes to shimmer shadows, for example. And I have not picked out brands where I only have like one or two palettes because I feel like you need to use more than just trying one palette for my brand to know if the formula is something for you. So I have some categories and I will leave them down in the description and I will talk about the brands and yeah, I think we just hop into this. So I thought that we could start with base things, but I'm not going to talk about like primers and foundations and powder. I'm going to talk about bronzer, blush and highlight. And if we start with bronzer or contour, I know there's a big difference. I do a little bit like whatever I feel like. <laughs> yeah, make a personal rules. So if we start with contour slash bronzer, that is not a thing that I have used like super much before. I have used some, but it's not like it has not always been like a staple in my makeup routine. And the three that I have picked for this is, of course, Nabla. I have tested more than one bronzer from Nabla and I do love their face products. I feel like people not talk about enough about Nabla's face products because they do amazing face products. I do really love their glazing, their skin glaze line and also like their normal line when they have singles. I do love them so much. Also NYX is a brand that, that I do really love when it comes to contour. As for right now I don't have any contour in my collection from NYX but I have had before and NYX I have never tried like an eyeshadow palette that I like from NYX I have only tried like either a face product or a brow product that I love from NYX but yeah they are really good to doing contours and the last brand is Isadora and uh, Isadora is a Swedish brand. It's I don't think it's vegan, but it's cruelty free because I am a cruelty free YouTuber. I don't think it's vegan, but yeah, I think they they are like the same as for NYX for me. They do a lot of base things that I do love. The eyeshadows isn't my favorite. We go into blush. I think you at least know one brand <laughs> that I was going to mention, and that is of course Nabla. They're there. <laughs> the skin glazing blushes they've done. I think I all I own all of them now. I do love all of them. I have also tried some in their normal line. I love them as well. I have tried some of their creams. Love them as well. They work so so amazing and what I love about Nabla's blushes is that they are so buildable. You can have just a light a light light blush but you can also like build it up and it will look amazing and they have matte blushes and they have shimmer blushes and I think that all of them are like equally good. I do prefer the skin glazing ones but I have nothing against the normal line or like the two reasons. I just love Nabla's blushes. I also do really love Lunar Beauty's blushes. I do have a blush palette from Lunar Beauty. It is amazing. I think it is so so good and in that palette is both like matte darker blushes, they are lighter blushes, they are shimmery blushes, they all work amazing. And the last brand is LH Cosmetics. I use their Infinity palettes 
at least the infinity the infinity and the infinity glam as a blush palette the, the blushes in them and they are just amazing they do look so good on the skin i don't feel like i need to set them with like a setting spray they just look amazing and i do really love them and i wish that lh cosmetic would do singles because if we go over to highlighter lh cosmetics is also one of my favorite brand when it comes to highlighters i have used one of their lipsticks as a highlighter i loved it and i have used from the different infinity palettes I love it and I just wish that they could start doing them as singles. I have a really big pan in my Milky Way from the Infinity palette. I'm going to cry when I'm done with it. So I don't like use it anymore because I don't want it to run out. But I'm guessing we are getting there someday. But yeah, LH Cosmetics, they do amazing multifunctional products that works so so good on your face then i also do really like kaleidos highlighters i don't use them anymore because i don't i'm not about that like beaming highlighter anymore but all their like in tin cans i have all of them some are better than others but i do really really love some of them they do look so so good and they have so many different like undertones and different shifts to them and they are just so good they are a little bit maybe not tricky to work with but they can work as like an everyday highlighter you just need to be a little bit careful and the last brand when it comes to highlighters i think you all know which brand i do love this brand has i have had my two absolute favorite highlighters of all time and that is of course blah blah first it was a baby glow and then it came over to ozone amazing products amazing it's the best highlighters i think i've ever used i also have a stick highlighter from nabla which i love so much and nabla they're just killing it with their base products and i think they should get more hype about them because they are so amazingly good. It feels like when they, it came out, like the Ozone or the Skin Glazing line, Ozone was sold out all the time. But now it doesn't feel like people talk about it. Except for maybe me. I talk about it for all of us. And then if we go in to eyeshadows, that is not go it's only two things. So it's my favorite matte formula and my favorite shimmer formula. So maybe we should start with the matte ones. And of course, Nabla is one of them. I do have the side by side palette as I think it's my favorite palette in my whole collection. I talk about it all, all the time and I just love it. I think they do amazing eyeshadows and also it's like a thing that I don't see that much. I think it's pretty like hype when the palette came out because it's a new thing. But then people don't talk about Nabla that much. Maybe I am in the wrong circuit for Nabla eyeshadow, I don't know. But for me, the matte shadows from Nabla is really something special. And I also love Lethals. I have tried a lot of shades from Lethal. I have a lot of shades that I bought as singles. I have pre-made palettes. I have collab palettes. And I always have loved Lethal's formula. And I think the matte shadows are really good. I know that some aren't like super amazed by them. But I really like that they are buildable. They are not maybe like super, super dark at the beginning, some of them, but they are really buildable, at least for me. And I do really love that they have a lot of grungy, lighter colors. So you can do like a grungy look, but it's kind of light. And also I have tried more like pastel colors from them and I have tried, I have a black from them and I think like the whole span of colors works really good. I don't know if I ever tried a bad matte shade from Lethal. And the last one, this was so hard. I, I, I think I have made a correct choice and it is Kaleidos. And 
Kyla, Kaleidos, Kaleidos, I do love them. Um, I haven't bought, of course, the things that have come out this year because I'm on a no buy. But I have all the Futurism palettes, the Escape Pod, and the palette with Anilka Nyqvist, and I love them. The mattes are so good. They are so easy to work with, and I just love the different colors. They do like neutral colors good, and they do green good, and yeah, I also have the Flower Punk palette. I just think they do amazing matte shadows. Then if we go over to shimmers, I do have two of the same brands as I had for the mattes. So Lethal and Kaleidos. I think they do really really good shimmers. But when it comes to Kaleidos, I think the old formula was better than the new one. I like the first five Futurism palettes, I was blown away. Like when I first used the Sci-Fi Green palette, I fell in love. And their shimmers in those earlier palettes are like thick shimmer heaven. Love it so, so much. Then it came the Futurism 5 and no, 6 and 7. We went downhill. The Escape Pod is some of the shadows are amazing. And then the flower punk, good. Not everybody, not all of the shades are amazing, but the most of the shimmers from Kaleidos and especially their earlier palettes is outstanding. You don't need any glitter primer. You don't need to spray your brush, and they are just so so amazing. And with Lethal, I think the same as I do with mattes. I don't think I ever tried a bad shimmer shade from Lethal. Actually, one of my absolute shimmer shades is from Lethal. It's a green, light, amazing shimmer. But they do really good shimmers when it comes to darker colors and lighter colors. And also they are really easy to blend either with a matte or with each other. And I also think they are really pigmented and I also think that they are good both in the pre-made palettes and as the singles. And the last brand I love when it comes to shimmers is of course Shroud. I think that Shroud is my absolute favorite brand when it comes to shimmers. They are just outstanding. I have never ever tried a shimmer shade from Shroud that I wasn't amazed by. They are really like they're just amazing. I have one on today and this is from It's Freaking Best palette and they're just so easy to work with. They are blendable, they have such cool colors and I just love the shimmers from Shroud. It is the best shimmers I have ever tried. Then I also was going to talk about lipsticks and my lipstick preferences, I think they've changed a lot. And I don't know if you're going to be surprised about these brands I'm going to talk about. But one thing I can mention that the lipstick I have on today is not the favorite. I don't know if it shows on camera, but it's so like uneven. It's a <laughs> lime crime. But we are going to talk about others. So first, LH Cosmetics. <laughs> if you haven't been here for a while, I maybe you haven't seen when I'm using like the Majestic lipsticks like all the time and also like the lip glosses from LH Cosmetics amazing and their old Fantastics that I have had for <laughs> kind of long while are also amazing I think they do amazing amazing lipsticks and another favorite that is kind of new to me is actually Lethal um I have tried both their bullet lipsticks and their liquid lipsticks, but I do really, really love the liquid lipsticks. They are kind of dry, so I can understand if some feel like they are too dry. I think they work really good for me, but I am really good to like put moisturizer on my lips. Um, but yeah, I do love them, and they are so easy to have on and they 
sit on really good on the lips without drying down too much and I just love them. And the last brand when it comes to lipstick is of course Nablas. Liquid lipsticks are some of the best I have ever tried. They are just amazing. I have so many colors from all of that I really really love, mostly reds, and they are just so pigmented, so thick without feeling like too much on your lips. They are just perfect in my eyes. They are kind of drying as well, but they look amazing. And red, when it comes from Nabla, is the bed best reds ever. I also thought that I can talk about brushes and this I can speed through maybe a little bit. So my favorite top three brands when it comes to face brushes is LH Cosmetics. I do love their brushes. I have all of the brushes they have ever released. Yes, I do. And I love that the brushes are like some of them work for like powder and contour and also as blush and their highlight palette highlighter brush is amazing. I also do really love Flair that is a Swedish brand and I love their powder brusher. I love their foundation brush. Yeah, I do actually own a foundation brush even though I like sponges more. They do a really good highlight brush and also like contour brush and I just Flare is so so good. And the last brand for face brushes is actually Nabla. I have a highlighter brush that I love from Nabla and I also have a contour brush. They are so so good. They work amazing. They work the best I think with Nabla's own product. They do work with others but they are amazing together with Nabla's products. And when it comes to eye brushes. I have <laughs> Lady Cosmetics. I think that is the most used brushes I have. They are just amazing. I love their... Now I'm going to show a product even though I said I was not going to. I have these. I have four of these. This is the free or free. It's an amazing brush. It works so good with matte shadows. It works amazing with shimmers. It works to like smudge underneath the eyes. It is an amazing brush. I also love Flare when it comes to eye brushes. They are kind... I didn't know I had them for over a year, but I do really like them and I think that Flare does amazing brushes. I do not know if you can buy it outside of the Nordic countries because I think it is a Swedish brand owned by Kix, which is a Nordic beauty store. It's like our Ulta, you maybe could say, and I don't know if they are available to the rest of the world, but Flare really good brushes. And then the last brand is actually BH Cosmetics. I have especially one brush from BH Cosmetics that I do love so so much. It's the V5 Big Ass Blending Brush. I have four of them. I love them so so much. I also have some other brushes from BH Cosmetics that I do like but not as much as that big blending brush. Maybe I can show you it this one. This is, I think, my most used brush together with the one from LH Cosmetics. I love it. And I don't know if you can get this anymore because BH Cosmetics is now owned by Revolution. But if Revolution would like quit doing BH Cosmetics brushes, I don't know. So, and that was all for this video. I do really hope that you liked it. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!